Find the RMS value of current I0 in the overall complex power supplied in the given circuit. Assume V source RMS is 130 angle 90 degrees V RMS. So this circuit is a good demonstration of the law of conservation of power in which S total found throughout the circuit equals as I've labeled here S1 plus S2 plus S3 which is the power consumed by each load. So to find I0 what we have to do is first find S total and using the formula S equals V times I complex conjugate we'd be able to find I0 pretty quickly. So let's uh, start with evaluating S1 this load right here. So we can see that there's two kilovolt amps and as we know kilovolt amps is a unit of just complex power S so we can just say magnitude, make sure it's the magnitude, S equals 2 kVA. And also we are given for the angle, the power factor is equal to 0 0.707 leading. And as you know, leading is negative. And a good way of working with the imaginary and real powers is by drawing this right triangle in which the x-axis is P the y-axis is q, p being real, q being imaginary, and the hypotenuse being the magnitude s, with the angle being phi or theta. So continuing on, we have our magnitude s, however we don't have our uh, angle for the phaser. So as we know, power factor equals, since we have lead, it's negative cosine inverse of 0.7 putting that into a calculator, we get about negative 45 degrees. So now we have all we need to make the full phaser. So it would be S1, I'll put a little hat here to indicate that it's a phaser, equals 2 angle negative 45 degrees kilo volt amps. And that is our answer for the load 1. Now moving on to load 2 what we need is we have 1.2 so p equals 1.2 kilowatts that's real power and this time now we are given 0 0.8 kvar a capacitor so we know that kvar is imaginary power q and obviously equal to 0 0.8 kvar however we need to make sure that it's a cap and we know that capacitors are negative so keep that in mind. And as we know for a complex power S, it is equal to, in rectangular form, the real power P plus imaginary component J or I times imaginary power Q. So here we are already given P and Q, and they're both in kilo uh, format. So all we have to do is simply plug that in for rectangular. S equals 1.2 minus, remember that's negative for capacitor, J 0 0.8. And this would be K v a however we'd probably want this in phaser format since we all want a common format and that is equivalent to let's write here s hat 2 equals 1.44 angle negative 33.69 degrees kilovolt amps and that is our answer for the second load now moving on to our third load, S3, we have kilowatts, 4 kilowatts, we know that's P, real power. And for the power factor, we have it equal to 0 0.9, this time lagging. And as you know, lagging should be positive. So, um, let's first get the phaser angle phi in which phi again equals cosine inverse of 0 0.9, it's positive, and that turns out to equal 25.8419 degrees. Now for the amplitude s, we're going to refer to this triangle, we can see that the cosine of phi is p over s, so let's write that here, cosine phi equals real power p over magnitude s and since we want to isolate s to find it 
let's do a little bit of uh, cross multiplication. You get s cosine phi equals p. Now divide by cosine phi. We get s equals p over cosine phi. And since we just found out what phi was, let's plug that in. And we also know what p is. So 4 kilowatts over cosine of 25.8419 degrees. And that turns out to equal 4.44 repeating. And that is the magnitude s. So if we were to evaluate that as s3, that equals the magnitude 4.44. Angle, the phasor angle, which we already derived here, 25.8419 degrees kVA. So now, let's apply that property again, where ST equals S1 plus S2 plus S3. I'm going to rewrite that for clarity. 45 degrees, this is in kVA, plus uh, 1.44, angle negative 33.69 degrees, plus the final load 4.44, angle 25.8419. This is all in kilovolt amps, where the sum is equivalent to 6.6142 angle negative 2.406 degrees kilovolt amps that is s total so now to find I of zero, we need to use that formula, S, in this case S total, equals V times I complex conjugate. And since we need to find I, we isolate I complex conjugate equals S total over V, which is equivalent to, as I'll rewrite, 6.6142, angle negative 2.406 degrees, and this will be in kilovolt amps. And we're putting that over our voltage source, which we have here is 130 angle 90 V RMS. And we have to pay attention to the fact that it's only in volts. So it would be in kilovolts, it would be 0 0.130 angle, the same angle, 90 degrees. This would just be uh, kilovolts. And you can call this RMS. So dividing that out, we end up with our final answer of around 50.88 angle negative 92.39 degrees and this time since this is I of zero we have this in just normal amps since the kilos cancel each other out RMS this is equal to I complex conjugate remember to reverse the complex conjugate all you got to do is take the negative of the phase angle so that yields us our final answer of I sub zero equal to 50.88 angle positive 92.39 degrees amps RMS. And that will be our final answer. That was a lot of fun. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below and good luck.